Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at routing signals using paths. As you can see I have a basic Pro Tools session open here. It's got four audio tracks, one aux track, and one master fader. If I want to route signal here in the mix window, I have a couple of options. The first one would be to use existing paths. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and assign the input to this audio one track. I would simply click on the input selector in the mix window channel strip and I could choose from the available paths. In this case, we have two interface paths, which are the built-in line left and built-in line right, um, and no buses or plug-in paths. So I'll go ahead and select built-in line left. And you can see that's pretty straightforward. I'll go ahead and do the next channel as well, and we'll choose built-in line right. Now it's important to remember that on the input side, the number of channels in the path has to be an exact match for the number of channels of the track. So any paths that don't match simply won't show up in the list. Now I assign a send to an existing path in a similar fashion. I could click on send A on the audio one track and I would see available outputs and internal mix buses. And I could choose, for example, this verb stereo internal mix bus. Now the second option for routing in the mix window is to route to tracks. And this is something new in Pro Tools 9 or later. What I can do is I could go to Ascend, for example, and I could say that I want to assign it directly to a track. For example, the aux one that I created. And you'll see that what happens is it automatically creates a new internal mix bus it names it aux1 after that destination track and it assigns it as the input to the track as well. So this is a really easy way to route signal from one track to another. Now another option that we have is to route signal to a new track. So let's take audio3 for example and let's say I wanted to create a delay send and return effect. Instead of choosing track I could choose new track and the new track dialog will appear and from within here I could set the channel width, the track type, the time base, and I can give it a name. And let's say we wanted this to be delay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the create button and you'll see that Pro Tools will perform a bunch of functions behind the scenes. Okay, so what happened was it created a new internal mix bus called delay, it created a new stereo aux track called delay, and then it handled the routing assignments for me automatically. You can see delay as the send on the audio 3 track and then it's automatically set as the input to this new delay aux track. So that's a really powerful new feature. And both of these features are available as methods for assigning outputs to tracks as well.